So I was in Vegas a couple of days ago and just being there brought back memories of another one of my many fail with women stories that I figured I might as well tell you guys because I know you like to laugh at my pain. You know what I'm saying? I told you guys a couple of those stories. First one was I think it was the, the homie hopping hoe story. Um, then we had the girl getting pregnant by another man story. And then it was the uh, Stacy Dash girl story. I'll leave the link to all of those in the description just in case you haven't seen some of them. But yeah, so it's time for a new one. And with those stories, the overall feeling was like, ah, oh, poor Rick, he'll get him next time. But not this one. This one is going to be more like, that's what your dumb ass get. Now, before I get started, I gotta clarify something. I'm single, and with being single, I try my hardest to be a whore. A dirty, slutty whore. And I do that for a few reasons, you know. One, because, I mean, I can. Two, the shit's fun. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's fun, it's fun. And three, most importantly though, you do it to get it all out of your system. That way, when you do settle down and get in a relationship, it'll be a lot easier to tell temptation to, Get the fuck out of my face, Temptation. I got a girl. Stupid. What kind of name is Temptation anyway? You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like that's 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 what it does for me. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I get it out of my system. Let me be clear, though. I'm not out here lying to nobody. Everybody knows the deal before anything goes down. I'm not leading nobody on. Now, let's get to the story. So a while back, it was one of those weekends where everybody's just going to be in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? But even though I'm trying my best to be a slutty whore, I don't really like slutty whores. So instead of going to Vegas and trying to pick up on random chicks at the club, I do it the smart way. I contacted all of the quality women that I already know and just asked them if they want to spend some quality time with me in Vegas. So you going to Vegas this weekend? Yo, me too. You, we should totally get some lunch and then like hump each other's faces. So long story short, I wound up with one girl from Canada, um, one girl from here, Southern California, and two girls from Northern California, one of which was staying in the room with me, right? So that's four ladies, one Rick. Odds are in my favor. So I'm in Vegas, I'm chilling with my boys. I start hitting up the uh, girl from Southern California. I'm like, yo, when do you get in? She tells me she gets in the next day in the morning. I'm like, cool, let's link. She's like, all right, cool. Um, the Canadian girl, she's already there. I think she got to Vegas before me. She's off with her friends doing her thing. I'm not tripping. I hit up the, uh, the other girl from Northern California and then I asked her when she gets in, she too says she gets in the next morning. So I'm like, cool have a night with my boys or whatever get up the next day and I'm hitting up the Canadian girl now the thing about the Canadian girl I like her like I like her I would date her if she wasn't Canadian not that I have anything against Canadians obviously I don't she far and long story but I like her so I get some lunch with the Canadian girl and then after after we get lunch, we're just chilling in my room. No freaky shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Because again, I like her. I'm playing it cool. I'm just chilling with her. But then it comes time. She got to go off with her friends. My boys are like, let's go to this pool thing, blah, 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 blah. So I walk her downstairs, and we get in the taxi line because I'm trying to get as much time as possible with her. So I'm waiting for her to get a taxi. And I figure I can just get a taxi for me and my boys because they coming right down too. So, we're in line, we're chilling, a taxi pulls up, and a girl gets out. And it's the girl from Southern California, right? So, I see her and instantly I'm like, oh shit, out of all the hotels, why is she at mine right now? Like, normally, that would be great. Like, oh, you're in the same hotel as me? Sweet. So, I'm like, shit, what am I going to do? And then I did the dumbest shit you can do. Keep in mind, I'm still with Canadian girl here. And I go out loud, I know that girl. How dumb do you got to be to do some shit like that, right? So, of course, she hears me and she sees me and shit. So, now I'm like, fuck. She comes over. I give her a hug or whatever. Now, keep in mind, I'm still with Canadian girl. So, I can't just act like they don't see each other and shit. So, I introduce them. I'm like, fuck. But... Like I said earlier, I don't be lying to nobody. Nobody thinks that they're the only girl I'm trying to talk to. So I don't, I'm, 
I'm nervous on the inside, but I'm not really tripping because it's not like I'm getting caught in a lie or anything like that. So I'm chilling. They kind of talking. We're all just talking a little bit. And I noticed, like, out of my periffs that her cab that she just got out of is still there. But the door on the other side is opening. Since someone else getting out. And I swear y'all not going to believe this shit. But it was the NorCal girl. They got out of the same cab. Nigga, when does that happen? And I promise you I'm not making this up. It really happened like that. The Northern California girl got out of the same damn taxi as the Southern California girl. And I'm, I'm in my head, I'm like, you motherfuckers live at least eight hours apart. How are you getting out of the same cab right now? And why right now? Like, I just, I couldn't understand that shit, right? And what's even harder to understand is what I did next. The same stupid shit I did the first time, I yell out, you're here too? I just don't know about myself sometimes, guys. I, who who does that? Like, I'll be fucking up. I don't I don't think I'm cut out for this life, man. I really I really be fucking up. Cause now I'm standing in this taxi line with three of the four girls I was trying to talk to. That fourth one, though, that's a um that's a different story for a different time. But what I need you guys to understand about these girls is like I said in the beginning, and they the quality. You know what I'm saying? They're not your typical, uh, well, I shouldn't say typical. It's not typical of women, but they, they're not slutty, nasty girls. You know what I'm saying? They're not the chicks that's going to say, whatever, we're in Vegas. It's all just fuck each other. I wish. But no, they're not that type of chick. Like, I knew going into this that I was ready to invest time into each of these girls with the chance that I wouldn't get anything near close to what I actually wanted. But... I was planting the seeds, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to plant the seeds for the future. And then, within three minutes, all my seeds just got ripped from me, son. That shit was whack. And you know when the two girls left, the Canadian girl had to question me a little bit. Like, she wasn't tripping. Cause like, they're all cool girls. She wasn't tripping on me, but she asked, like, oh, so do you talk to one of those girls? And all my dumb ass could think to do was go, what the fuck is that? I don't even know how to lie. Ain't that a bitch? And of course, the two girls had to ask each other how they knew me, and you can just guess how that went. So, I mean, what started out as a promising weekend got really fucking whack for me by the end. But like I said, they were really cool chicks, you know what I'm saying? We all still kicked it. I had my boys, they had other girls. We went out to party, everybody had a good time, except for me, of course, I was off to the side feeling stupid and looking stupider. But you know what, I, I take it, I fucked up. <laughs> that was all my fault. I bit off more than I could chew, or at least more than they allowed me to chew, because I could have chewed them all, you know what I'm saying? You feel me, my, you just gonna leave me hanging? You gonna leave me, fuck y'all there. But I can't honestly say that I learned some things from this from this experience, you know what I'm saying? First, I learned that chasing a bunch of women at once isn't for me. I fucking suck at that shit, as y'all can see. And secondly, and most important, oh my God, I can't stress this enough. If you take any piece of advice from this channel, let it be this, guys. Somehow, some way, all Asian girls know each other. And if they don't know each other now, I promise you, they're going to be in the same place at the same time. It's just what they do. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And I'm going to figure out how to do it because it's getting out of control. I get on Instagram. I like a girl picture. She in Australia. Two minutes later, I get a text from a girl in New York. She say, how you know Julie? I say, how you know Julie? She say, that's my mama. I say, what? That don't make no sense. Y'all the same age. She said, it don't got to make sense. All you need to know is you're not going to be fucking me and my mama at the same time. Now, I got to make a choice. It's out of line, fellas. It's really out of line, so I'm telling you now, if you are a part of Operation Smash All the Asians, just abort right now, because it's not going to go down the way you think it is, man. Everybody is somebody's cousin, I promise you. Whew. I'm out. Peace.